Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to solve multi-step word problems. Multi-step word problems are word problems that require more than one step to solve. Today, we're going to focus on multi-step word problems that have two steps. Multi-step word problems can include addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. But today, we are going to focus on addition and subtraction. Let's get started. When we see a word problem, the first step is to read the problem. John went to the beach. He found 38 seashells near the shore. He gave his sister 17 seashells. Then, John went back to the shore and found 28 more seashells. How many seashells does John have now? My next step is going to be to figure out what the question is asking. I can see that the question says, how many seashells does John have now? This question tells me that I'm going to be looking for the total amount of seashells that John has. Next, I'm going to look for keywords and important numbers. 38 is important because it tells me how many seashells John has. In the next sentence, it says he gave his sister 17. Gave is a key word because when you give something away, you don't have it anymore. So this word helps me know I will be subtracting. The number 17 is important because that's how many seashells he gave his sister. Now I'm going to stop here because I can see that I already have an equation I need to solve. John found 38 seashells. He gave his sister 17. My equation is 38 minus 17. I need to solve this first before I can go on to the rest of my word problem. Now I'm going to find a strategy and solve. My equation for this problem is 38 minus 17. These are bigger numbers, so I'm going to use place value to help me solve this problem. I'm going to model the number 38 because that's how many seashells John found. I know I'll be taking away 17. First, I'll subtract my ones place. Now, I'll subtract my tens place. Now, I can see that John has 21 seashells after he gives 17 away to his sister. But, I'm not finished yet. I still have to solve the other part of my word problem. I'm going to go back to my word problem and identify key words and important numbers in the second part of the word problem so I can figure out what my next equation will be. In the second part of my word problem, I see that John found 28 more seashells. The number 28 is important because this is telling me how many seashells John found. The word more is an important key word because if you get more of something, then you're adding on to what you already have. My second equation for this word problem would be 21 plus 28. I know this because in the first part of my word problem, I found out that John had 21 seashells after he gave some to his sister, and now he found 28 more. I will need to add these numbers together to find out how many seashells John has now. I'm going to use the same strategy as before to solve this equation. This time, I'm going to model both numbers because John had 21 seashells and he's getting 28 more. So I need to add both of these numbers together. First, I'll start with my ones place. Next, I will add my tens place. I can see that John has 49 seashells now. Let's try one together. Read the problem with me. There were 86 pineapples at the store. The owner sold 22 pineapples. There were 12 that were rotten and thrown away. How many fresh pineapples are left? We've read our problem. Now let's go on to our next step. What is this problem asking us to find out? That's right, we are trying to find out how many pineapples are left at the store. Let's move on to find some keywords and important numbers. This is the part where we want to pay close attention to our numbers. We know we're solving multi-step problems, so we want to stop when we found two numbers that we can create an equation with. What important numbers do you see in the first sentence? Yes, 
That's right, 86. Now let's look at the second sentence. Do you see any key words or important numbers here? Awesome, sold and 22 are important. Sold tells us that we will be subtracting because the owner does not have the 22 pineapples anymore. I think we're ready to create an equation now. Think about the key words and important numbers we found. What is going to be our first equation? You got it! Our equation is 86 minus 22. Let's stop here and solve this problem. Let's use place value to help us solve. What number should we model? Great job! We want to model 86 because that's how many pineapples are at the store. We know we will be taking away 22. Count as I subtract the ones place. Now, count as I subtract the tens place. How many pineapples are in the store now? 64. But we are not finished yet. Remember, we still have another part of our word problem that we need to solve. So let's go back and find those keywords and important numbers so we can solve the second part of our word problem. Let's look at our next sentence. It says that there were 12 pineapples that were rotten and thrown away. What key words and important numbers do you see in this sentence? Yes, that's right, 12 and thrown away. Because if the owner is throwing the pineapples away, that means they are gone. So thrown away tells us we will be subtracting. What will our next equation be? Remember, the first part of our equation is going to be the amount of pineapples at the store right now. You got it! 64 minus 12 will be our next equation. Because the store has 64 pineapples right now and 12 were thrown away. Once we solve this, we will know how many fresh pineapples are left at the store. Let's go solve! What number are we going to model? That's right, 64, because that is the amount of pineapples that are at the store, and we need to take away 12 rotten pineapples. Count as I subtract the ones place. Now, count as I subtract the tens place. How many pineapples are left at the store? Great job. There are 52 pineapples left at the store. Now it's time to try one on your own. Pause the video here to give yourself some time to solve the problem. Press play when you're ready to check your work. Let's check your work. Our first equation is 45 plus 20 because there are 45 kids on the bus. If 20 more get on, then more tells us we will be adding on to 45. 45 plus 20 equals 65. For the second part of our problem, we would take the number 65 because that's the total amount of the kids on the bus now. Then it says that 15 get off. So if they get off, that means we're going to be subtracting because they're not there anymore. When we subtract 65 minus 15, it equals 50. There are 50 kids left on the bus. You did it. Excellent work. You just solved a multi-step word problem. These problems can take a lot of work, but just remember to take it one step at a time. And be sure to keep practicing, and soon you'll be a master at solving these types of problems. Bye. See you next time.